welcome to day 23 of Craftmas. So if you hear squeaking in the background, that is from this cute and handsome man right here. His name is Oberon. He's our new puppy. This video is just going to be the first 24 hours of owning him. We made another video for day 23, but I'm going to have that be a different day. I don't want Oberon to take over Craftmas. He was not planned, but here is every clip I have from the first day. Hi, cutie. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. No, no bite. No bite. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Go get you some stuff. Okay, we just got home with him. <laughs> we got him in Midland, an hour away. And um, then he went for the ride. He did really good. And then, I know, I'm sorry. Hold on, guys. It's really dark in our living room. We just got home. And got some stuff for him that he needed. And now he's getting a tour of the house. So far, he he's not peed on anything yet. Probably. <laughs> I'll grab the towel and hold it for the moment that he does do it. Let's go back outside. Hold on, let me put the light on. He's gonna slip, be careful. Hi, baby. Don't let him run. Ooh, he likes the woods. You want to go in the garden and let him let him off for a minute? I know, but he'll maybe if he gets some energy out before we bring him in for the night. No, no. Oberon. Oberon. Hi, baby. Hi, Oberon. We're just chilling. Waiting for Dana to get back in. I can tell he's already sad that Dana's outside getting his kennel. No, Oberon, no. Oberon, no. No, 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 no. Honey. Oh, run. Baby. Come here, baby. No, you gotta wait for daddy. You gotta wait for daddy. Sit down, sit down. Good boy. Stay seated. Good Oberon. Look at. Look. Look. It's you. It's you. It's you, honey. Good boy. So we're trying really hard to make sure he doesn't beg at the table, but we don't want to not eat around him because that won't help train him. No, you just gotta eat. Uh, and ignore. Like normal. Normal. And, and it, oh, make it a silverware. And uh, not give him food. Yeah. And I didn't know if, like, while we ate, putting his food bowl by him would force him to eat it because it's a new food. So getting him used to that food, but also letting him know, like, this is our food, that is your food. But Dana doesn't think it would really do anything. I'm just no. thinking, like, psychological games and thinking that would help. But that probably would no. help more with a baby than a dog. But oh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, my trick worked. I'm pretty excited. So he's, he hasn't been eating his food. It's a combination of it being late. He probably ate at the animal shelter. And then also the fact that one, he's never had it before. Two, he's just smelling our food. And probably in comparison, that smells a lot better. Even though, I mean, I can't disagree. So I took one of his little snacks that I've been using to get him to train. Like little rewards for like sitting or staying um, I think it's his fourth little snack, so that's the that's the end for today. But I threw a little snack after him sitting properly and staying properly. I threw it into the bowl, and now he's going to town. He has a little bit of water, and he has his food. Once he's done with that, um, we'll probably relax and watch some TV for a little bit, take him outside, and then go to bed. You like James Corden? You like the Late Late Show? You like the Late Late Show? You like following Mom's phone? Good morning, Oberon. Good morning, Oberon. You did so good outside. Over here. Come over here, baby. Oh, over here. Over here. Eat some of this. Good boy. Good boy. Honey. Look. Get the ones in the ground. Good boy. 
You slept so good. You slept so good last night. And I know that cage is a little bit tight for you, isn't it? Isn't it, honey? A little bit tight. Dana just left for work. I'm outside inside of our garden, which is fenced in. I'm gonna let Oberon run around for like 10 minutes. He just went potty, so that's good. Um, I think he had to go, but he also was confused where Dana was going. Good boy. Good boy. So he's not used to having space like this to run around. I just don't want him out here too long because it's a lot, there's a lot of snow back here and I don't want his paws to get too cold. So I'll give him like 10 minutes and then I gotta get some coffee <laughs> and I gotta do dishes. So we'll see if he can like just chill and like lay in the kitchen while I do dishes. He's doing really good with commands. Um, he's a year probably a little over a year old. I don't think he's quite two yet. So I'm sure he's gotten some training, um, both in the kennel and then from whoever his previous owner was. But, um, so he does pretty well with sit and stay and no. He do, he likes, uh, this noise. He's good with that. And then pointing. He's good with that. So that's going to make it a little easier. Being a good boy, you're sitting there because mama needs her coffee. You're just sitting in the kitchen with me. Making coffee, trying to teach him how to sit so that I can do these dishes. Promise, buddy, I really don't want to, but I have to. Still trying to test the dishes. And he's being such a good boy. I've made a couple of phone calls and he was really good. And um, while I'm doing dishes, he keeps falling asleep. Taking him on his first little walk. I'm not going very far because I want to do that with Dana. Plus, if he gets off, I don't want to be alone. Um, to have to run after him. But I'm just going to go down the road. I have stuff to do in the office, but I don't want to make him sit for that long. He already was a good boy, and he sat while I did dishes. So this is his reward for being a good boy. So he's going for a little walk just down the street. Oh, he didn't want to pee on that one. Wow. Oh, Ron, do you like Daddy's garage? You're going to hang out in here with Daddy. You guys are going to have man time out here. We gotta get you trained in the boat too. You're gonna be in the boat in the summertime with other Oberons, but they'll be in bottles. It's a struggle. I feel bad because I know that he wants to get out and do stuff and I wanna do that with him. But one, I have stuff to do. Two, he's healing from being neutered. So he actually should not be getting too much activity right now for the next, let's see, it's four days. Today is the fifth day since he got neutered. He got neutered on Friday at night. So that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's the fourth day. It's only the fourth day. So he needs 10 more days of recovery at least. And I decided to, I read up on it to make sure that I did the right things. He already took his medication. I have some warm water with a little towel in it so I could put a warm compress because it seems like it's bugging him. He took his medication this morning with breakfast and um, I feel like the painkillers maybe are wearing off. So he needs to get some rest, he needs some quiet, no jumping, no running, the basic stuff to make sure he doesn't pop it open. Because he's so hyper, they said um, at the Humane Society that he had popped it open once, which is normal. They check the incision, it's healing, it's a little swollen, a little bit red. I gotta make sure that he's not licking it. I don't have a cone of shame for him, <clears throat> which is one of the things that you need is a cone or they have this special kind of collar um, that's a cone alternative that is less shameful for the dog. Um, he's doing okay as long as I'm watching him and I'm, I'm sure he probably goes to town on it when he's in his kennel at night, but He's doing okay. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing all that I can to make sure he's not in pain and he's comfortable and that he heals properly. I've been editing for long enough and I want a walk. So I might as well take Oberon for being such a good boy. Oberon, downstairs. Good boy, honey. Downstairs. Let's go. Good boy. So I'm gonna take him for a little walk down the road and back like I did earlier. Come. Oberon, come. Come. Stay with me, stay with me, follow me, follow me, come on, come, follow, 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 baby, come on, no, you were doing so good, follow, follow, good boy, come with me, come with me, follow, good boy, good boy, follow, follow, come on, follow, 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 good boy, good boy, Oberon, sit, Oberon, sit, sit, 
Sit. Good boy. Okay, so this is a test. I've put him outside in the fenced-in garden. I'm now going to just watch him from the window, and then if he does anything bad, I'm gonna run out there directly. But I need to know that he doesn't need to be babysat while outside. So I'm just gonna start it now. I mean, it's fenced in, it's safe. The only thing I'm worried about him doing is things that could hurt his healing. I don't think he'll do anything otherwise that will even remotely upset me because the part that's not raised is just grown over doesn't nothing in there is an important plant or a bulb or anything like that the only thing we have is the two raised beds and those are annual plants that we plant every year except for the asparagus the asparagus is underneath a bed of wood chips to keep it insulated during the winter but other than him running or jumping on something to hurt himself I don't have anything that he can't do So, taking him outside before my live stream, there's deer out here. He stopped in his tracks. He wasn't mean to them. No barking. He's just interested and maybe even a little bit scared. Be good. Be a good boy. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. So, we're waiting for Dana to get home. I just put this talking... <laughs> Our mistletoe here, a little French guy. My mom gave it to me a long time ago. Motion censored though. So I'll be turning it off soon because it's going to get real annoying. But I want to scare Dana with it. <laughs> oh, he's home. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Good baby. Good Oberon. You waiting for daddy? The thing is not supposed to talk unless someone walks underneath it. You waiting for daddy? Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Where'd he go? Is he coming? Is he coming? Where? There he is. He's right there. No, no, wait for, no, down, down, down. Wait for daddy, wait for daddy. See, it's just daddy. Just daddy. See, it's just daddy. Just daddy, honey. Oh. Get down. No jump. Get down. No jump. Get down. Did you miss me? Huh? Hi, sugar. <laughs> down. Down. Dana is watching our live stream, which is Craftmas Day 11. We have it on our TV. And we have our little man here with Dana on. He's on Dana's lap and he's just chewing and they're playing with the toy. And I have dinner in the oven. It will be done in like 20 minutes. So we're just watching our replay and uh, relaxing on the couch with our dog. Chilling like a villain. Still kind of weird to say that. Like relaxing on the couch with our dog. It is. It is. And I don't even really know what to do with Officially, him. by the way, it is just past 7. So we've officially had him for 24 hours. You're 24 hours old. 24 hour dog You're challenge. You're under snowflaking. 24 hour dog challenge. And the squeaking is continuing. Don't forget to subscribe here and watch more of our content right here. Cheers.